What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and have I got a ginormous haul for you. Oh my goodness, I bought too much stuff, but in all defenses, it's basics that I use all the time and things that I have been out of for quite a while, like labels and alphas that I desperately need. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. This is all from Ellie's Studio. I always go to call it Elle's Studio because it's how, of how it's spelt and I knew a girl at school called Elle. But it's Ellie's Studio and it's not gifted. I haven't got any discount. I didn't know it was me. I just bought it on my own accord um, while I was in hospital having baby violet and which may be why there's so much i could have been on strong painkillers at the time for the c-section so yeah there's a lot in here but i figure postage just international postage just full stop is uh, so expensive that when i do make online orders i tend to buy uh, bulk so that i can put it away i'm just going to change my lighting so you can see a bit better there we go zoomed you in and you're a bit clearer um, while Miss Violet's sleeping, I'm going to show you what I've got and like I said, I, I am so desperately out of mini alphas at the moment. I've done two huge couch scrapping sessions this year and I have dried up all of my stocks and I can't get them locally. Um, so this is the only way that I can get them. So first off, I grabbed a couple of packs of journaling cards. Uh, this one's book review and this one's currently, they're all the same. I thought they might be handy for um, this year just to put in on a quiet week I often if there, if I ever have a week where I haven't done much or there's a few extra pockets that I need to fill up I'll do a movie review or a book review or just talk a little bit about something that I'm currently loving so that's handy I got some wood veneer uh, I've been really enjoying using wood veneer this last year well forever but especially this last year I've kind of rediscovered my stash and I thought that these were just some nice basic um, sentiments that were very general and I could use for any occasion. I usually stick away from uh, the resin, is it resin? No, what do you call this? I'm having a mental blank um, from this stuff. I usually <laughs> stay away from it just because it is quite chunky, but I decided to get a few things for possibly for Violet's baby album. I thought this life right now would be good for that one. Uh, and then I wanted to get at least one Christmassy thing. So I don't really have, I, I missed the boat on Christmas stash. I have no new Christmas stuff from this year. Um, so I wanted to just get a couple of bits and pieces got some more wood veneer. I want to do a layout about um, the houses that we've lived in so I thought I'd grab that for there. I also got some die cut packs. Uh, so this one's got a mix of labels and words. This one's from Noteworthy. Anything with labels as you will see I am an absolute sucker for. Um, I liked, now let's see, this one I just got one of because these are the Christmas tiny word tiny holiday label stickers and I won't I'll, I'll have a few Christmas photos but I'm not doing a December daily um, so I just got one set of those and then these ones which are the everyday I did get four packs because I aim to put one in my couch scrapping kit uh, one to put in my baby album kit and then uh, the other two just to have in my stash and I will go through these like like there's no time I honestly will by the end of next year they'll all be gone uh, grab some little phrase stickers these are some Christmassy ones and then just a everyday type one and then I also I grabbed some puffy stickers I really love puffy stickers and I thought this one had a lot of hearts which I can always use and a lot of just sentiments that are very I guess workable for uh, baby photos I, I feel like even Mr. Handsome I could do um, some photos of Arch with that so even though this was I think it was a Valentine's themed or a lovey themed one I aim to use these for my baby album oh my gosh there is a giant spider outside my window right now Wow, glad there's glass between uh, it and me. That scared the bejesus out of me. 
Oh, thank God that's not inside. Tangent, back on track. Sorry, peeps, if you're new to watching my videos. I do go on tangents quite a bit. I do tend to put chatty in the title if it's a bit of a chatty one, like this one I think is going to be. Um, back on track. Puffy hearts, all the colours. More puffy hearts because you can't have enough puffy hearts. Gold puffy hearts because wahaha all the puffy hearts are mine uh, and then I thought these were clever they're just the months of the year in puffy stickers and quite often for project life I use up a lot of my vowels spent spelling the titles of each week um, because I title my weeks not week 52 I, I do December date to date uh, so I thought this was a good way to get more words without going through all of my pretty alphas so then, oh god, <laughs> alright peeps, like I said, <laughs> I can't find tiny alphabet stickers locally where I am in Australia and it's, I, I get so frustrated when I only get one pack and I go through the vowels quickly and then I can't use it anymore. So I may have stocked up a little bit uh, on purchasing those, so I grabbed two to four of each of these so we've got blue there's a little black one i thought this was a pretty color it's like a acri color white is always just a, a safe bet um, i got lots of purples because i thought with violet i could be using lots of purple titles for her red pink is that pink? No, that's like a that's like a violet too. That's like a that's like an actual purpley pinky purple. Uh, this one is pink, and then these ones were really sweet. They look like little typewriter keys. And then I also <laughs> got some flat alphas. So all of those are puffy, um, and these ones are all flat. I got red, black blue, turquoise, white, and then, uh, so they're the Jane, and then these are hazel. I got lots of purples and lots of whites. I go through white really, really quickly in my project life. And then um, this is like a, it's a gray, but it has a purpley undertone to it. So I have enough mini alphas to keep me going for quite a while. Then I grabbed this little pack of Christmas paper because like I said, I haven't bought any other Christmassy things uh, this month. I My citrus twist kit should be on its way and I think that's got some Christmassy things in it maybe. Uh, but I, I don't have any other Christmassy things so that will be fun to play with. And then we're on to the labels. Now, like I said, I was very out of labels. So I got a few types. This is technically the Christmas one, but it has red, pink, black, and then two types of green. And I thought that even though it's labeled for Christmas, I can use this all year round. Pink and red seem to be two of my most used um, label colors. So I grabbed a couple of packs of those. Then I also grabbed a couple of packs of the jewel tone ones and a couple of packs of, a lot of packs apparently, of the Bright Labels. Note to self, maybe it's best to not be on painkillers when you make an order. <laughs> no, I knew I was buying a lot and I purposely, like I said, I purposely did because of shipping. Um, but it's just funny to see some of them I have much more than others and then I accidentally put the order in twice because the first time the page crashed second time the page crashed and I didn't think it worked and then it wasn't until I looked at my bank app that I realized that I had spent $600 twice <laughs> and so the customer service was incredible they um, I my husband emailed them and um, they cancelled one of the orders thank goodness because I didn't need twelve hundred dollars worth of labels, but I yeah, like I said it was a big order um, And it was kind of my once a year big shell out of supplies. I Have some tiny labels. So we've got tiny holiday 
Um, so they're part of the holiday collection, but of course they've got colors you can use all year round. And then some of the other colors. More labels. Whoops. And more labels. And surprise, more labels. These ones are cute that have the loving listening. I'll probably cut these up and have them pre, um, pre, I'll have them ready. That's what I'm looking for. Ready in my stash so that I can use them. These were really, really cheap. I think they're about a dollar, maybe a sheet. And then I got some of the journaling little cards and I really liked that there was a good mix between um, spaces that had a lot of just graph or lined space but then there were journaling prompts and then there were ones that you could kind of use like filler a little bit so I grabbed two packs of those and also got some of their past monthly kits and I have since signed up um, to get their monthly kit just because I think it's a it's a nice little size to to work with you get some die cuts let's just open one of them you get a mix of whoa 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 you get a mix of die cuts and then a range of journaling cards more die cuts smaller journaling cards and I find that journaling cards is one thing that I seem to run out of the, the quickest um, in my stash I definitely won't be running out of labels anytime soon <laughs> Uh, and so it's nice just every month to get a small, you know, restock um, of some journaling cards. Especially when you project life as many um, pages a month as, as I tend to do. I'm going to try and change for 2020. We'll see how that goes. Um, so there's a couple of the monthly kits. And then... I decided to get some stamps. Now stamps is something in my craft room that gets neglected a lot. Let me know in the comments if you're saying, if you're the same, if you like to collect stamps and as are not as uh, prolific at using the said stamps, uh, but I just couldn't resist this alphabet. It's the Stanley Junior alphabet. And I just really, really thought it was pretty. Plus you get two alphas for the price of one. And I thought it would be really, if I can get the hang of coloured ink, it would be really fun to stamp these in coloured ink and then layer this uh, with black over the top. And then I got the Everyday Tabs stamp. I really wanted the dies, but they were sold out um, that match these two. So I'll just have to hand cut them. Um, but I just thought these were really handy to have. And then I got a freebie, which is very nice. I think because... They felt sorry for the crazy lady who was buying so many <laughs> labels and alphabets. Um, so I haven't looked at this yet. Um, I got a mini dated stamp that'll be really useful for Project Life. I got some journaling cards, a journaling card. I got some puffies. Oh, more Christmas things. And because we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia, I will just use the thanks on a card that would be perfect to use and some more puffies so that was very nice thanks for the bonus peeps um, but that's my haul it's it's it is what it is it's a lot <laughs> um, but I knew that I needed to replenish my alphas and when I like I scrapbook five days a week um, and I go through my supplies quite quickly I, I make a lot of albums, so you you need some supplies to make stuff, um, and I desperately needed to top up, and so I thought I would jump in. I think I may have bought this, no, it was before Black Friday sales, it was the start of November um, that I bought all of this. But thanks for tuning in today, peeps, uh, and I will have some more haul videos coming up over the next few months. I'm staggering them um, over the next few months. I had a couple of things come in while I was on my maternity leave, uh, and so you'll be seeing those as extra videos in the next couple of months or so. All right, peeps, I will see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>